happy Sunday to all of you. Hope you're having a lovely Sunday. I have been very, very busy making new journals for my shop. I, again, appreciate all of you who are purchasing Flow journals. I hope that you're having a lot of fun with them. I, um, I've got four new journals to go in the shop. These are big journals. These are much bigger than the ones that I've been doing, especially these. These are kind of giant journals. One weighs two pounds, one weighs three pounds, so they're, they're kind of big. I'm going to record this video in two portions. Um, I'm going to talk about these two journals that I have here, and then I'll come back and we'll talk about these gigantic um, Big Mama journals. The first journals that I have are, these are the ones that go in the shop for $42. And we've got, we'll start with this one. This one is, let's see, this one is eight by six and a half. And it has, the spine on it is two and a half. So it's got a rather big spine on this book. The spine features an element with uh, beads. And this, this reminds me of a Japanese prayer ball. Um, it's an ivory-ish feature. It is not ivory. It just looks ivory-ish. And then I've got a coral bracelet on here for you. I thought the coral went really nicely with the with the colors that we have going on in this journal. Again, these journals, when they're this big and this stuffed, it's best to open them kind of from the side like this. And let's take a look inside. Sorry, we're stuck right here. We're stuck right here already. There we go. The first thing that you'll see in this little journal is a... Um, a pocket and the pocket has three tags for you to play with. Of course this is removable washi tape. Again anytime that you get a journal if you want to keep the elements intact if you aren't going to use the elements out of the journal if you don't want to tear things up then all you need to do is kind of go through the journal and with a little bit of glue and just tack things down. Everything's made to take apart, so that's why it's not like adhered to surfaces. Uh, the first signature, this book has five signatures. First signature has one of these super cool frames. A friend of mine, uh, thank you Judy, gave me these to use in my flow journals and I'm, I'm crazy about them. I think they're so super cool. We've got some vintage stamps up here and I've got, uh, these are elements that I cut from a stamping magazine. Of course a hairy paper clip kind of holding things in place. And here is, um, I, I just, I love this photograph. I thought that was so sweet. And this is one of the, um, I made this when I was doing coupons last week, when I was clipping my coupons and kind of came up with this, this little idea to, uh, to use the imagery and the words that I see in the coupon flyers for elements for the flow journals that, that I've been doing. I also love this paper and I have to thank my friend Judy for that as well. It's just absolutely gorgeous stuff. We've got, um, I've got a Hallmark bag here. Thank you Donna for sending me so many things to play with. We've got some stickers right here for you. When we flip this page over, you've got a few elements to play with. This is vintage. Remember when you were able to order music? You know, you, you kind of, you, you um, tore off the little tickets and you could put the little ticket on, like this is the, um, the soundtrack from Waiting to Excel. This is Seal, this is Neil Young, this is Hootie and the Blowfish. This is a vintage item and it's all sticker backed, so super cool there. Remember when you could do that? Haven't we come just, have we come a long way? I'm just, sometimes I'm not sure about that. This is a handmade cellophane butterfly bag with a couple tags and a skinny book right here for you. These are the um, these are the, the the tabs that I've got a video about how to make these little tabs and you know they're nothing they're they're very easy to make something really simple for you to do 
you know, as a sofa project. This is a bag that has a few ATCs in it, hand-colored ATCs, some vintage stamps, and a butterfly button with a couple pieces of cardstock back here for you to, to play with. I've got more cardstock here and some cut-out pieces. I love these very vintage-y looking things here. This is a small pocket. This is kind of one of those secret pockets, and it's got some little stash items in here for you, all tied up. Again, this is from Donna, and it is just absolutely the coolest thing. Look at the little bird, y'all. Little bird on some staff paper, some, some music paper. So cool. Got some napkins in here for you to play with, because that's, that's such a fun thing to, uh, you know, to decoupage with or, or use in, in your art journals or, you know, if you're making your own flow journals. Sorry, my hairs get all stuck together there. Okay, now you can really see this paper right here. This is just truly exquisite butterfly paper, and I put a little sparkly butterfly right here for you. The word nice, I'm very fond of that word. Second signature we got going right here, and I've tied some ribbons on here. We've got some puppy stickers in the back, and vintage text right here, vintage text paper. Some super cool, look, this is like a deposit slip, you know, like a, a, a check stub. Do you remember those? That was a long time ago. We usually don't have check stubs anymore, but I love that one. These are some die cut elements and a vintage postcard right here for you. A stamp featuring Frida Kahlo, and I don't know who else we got under here. Leonard Bernstein, and I believe that's Mr. George Washington right there, and a few flower elements for you to play with. These are pull-offs. Um, they're they're um, text clouds, you know, so you can write something in there. And there's a small stack of those right there. I love this paper. I think it's very vintage -y looking, very super cool. You know, if you, if you like mail items, and you know, I don't know many of us who don't. We got a funny little frog right there, keeping our place. This is a lovely little, um, little, little page right here. It features the row, and this is a, a stamp set, and then it has um, this, um, transparency type paper with text pages and cards under here. We're still on the second signature right here, almost ready to finish up. This one has some deli paper for you to play with, and I just thought it's just too close to Halloween to not just throw in some, some Halloween fun. So, owls and a skeleton head. All right, this is the back of the second signature. This is the third signature. Got um, a cut out fabric cart here. Absolutely beautiful. And I'd also like to thank my friend Jeannie because she sent me some amazing things to play with in these journals. So grateful to the folks who send me things that they no longer want or when they're going through their stash and getting rid of things. I just so much appreciate that. Uh, got some um, some music paper here, and then a quote that says, "The older the fiddler, the sweeter the tune," which is an English proverb. Kind of love that as a music girl myself. More paper, a vintage Christmas card. I love these vintage Christmas cards because they're signed. This one's signed by Faye and Bill. And a friend of mine, uh, Liz, sent me all of these just exquisite. Uh, used Christmas cards. This is a, um, a little photo holder and it's just got several little elements in here for you to play with. Um, this is lovely. This is cut from a calendar from people who uh, paint with foot and mouth. It's just incredible. My hopes are not always realized but I always hope. This has kind of got a springy-ish kind of thing going on here. Some very pretty sparkly paper and a flash card because, you know, we all got to keep our brains going here. Some super cool paper. And this is, uh, this is one of my little matchbox books. 
Now we're going to flip this over. We've got some planning elements in here for you. Just a couple pages of things. If you've thought about planning and, you know, you, you don't know how to do it, then, you know, it's nice to just kind of get started on it. Don't, I thought I was going to plan and I watched too many videos. That's, that was my problem. I watched too many videos and then I didn't plan anything. And now plans are I can't plan. <laughs> I can't plan. That's just kind of all there is to it. I kind of, uh, I plan my work each day and that is about all the planning that I do. I plan my work and I plan my client work and that's about it. Um, I've got a little Prima flower here and a Brad. Some ABCs for you to play with. Uh, more of the, um, these are like springish elements. These are all um, stickers. Vintage postcard. This is another thing that Donna sent me. Is that not exquisite? I don't know how she did that. That's just beautiful. And uh, vintage postcard. It's like a fashion-ish postcard. It says Simone. The quote is a journey of a thousand miles, but must begin with a single step allows you. We're still in, I think we're still in the third, oh, well, we're in the third signature now. These are cards in here. Some cards, well, this is some glossy card stock right here and some tags for you to play with. This is a vintage postcard from St. Petersburg, Florida. My friend sent me a bunch of those. This is a packet of goodies, paper, uh, some cutouts, butterfly, some Prima flowers for you to play with. I'll slide that right up there. This is a little fold out element. It folds out like this. You might want to take that and make a book out of it or you know, whatever you might want to do. It's a guitar paper clip. Love that too. At a heart-shaped paper flip. And this is one of my handmade little envelopes that I make from my desk paper. And it's just chock full of small elements. This is a sewn page. My friend Judy gave me some sewn pages. Um, again, this is a fold-out element right here. And we are at the back of the... Oh, we were on the fourth signature. Sorry, y'all. We we're on the fourth signature here. This is a small sewn book. This is called a micro book. It's very small. Stamps, playing cards, funny money from games, another like Project Life-ish card. This is a vintage postcard of a Kenny Rogers concert. This is a, a Brad This is family. I think this is another like check stub or something like that on there. We got some stickers for you. These are some photographs from an old book. I thought these were kind of cool. Especially that one. It looks very pensive, doesn't it? Okay. Now we are on the last signature. Love this card. It says super on it. Kind of got that tattered, kind of distressed look. This is some painted cereal box board for you to play with. And we got more papers and a list maker right here. And more of the um, Project Life cards back here. This is some embossed paper with leaves. I just think it's so pretty. More of the uh, mailing elements here. This is a small notebook with a little flower that has googly eyes and uh, the um, paper clip has a little frog on it. And we are almost to the end of this signature. This one is devoted to uh, sewing. So I've got some pattern paper in here got some rub-ons that feature a, uh, a dressmaker's form and a few more things, a thimble and some buttons. The, the text says, remember this moment. Got another small element in here. And then the mannequin form, so I've got two of those in here. 
And then, of course, in the back, I have washi taped in a package of goodies for you to, to play with as well. This book also features, and if you choose to tear this up, I know, I know some of you guys don't do that, but this is handmade, homemade paper right here. Okay. If you get this book, remember, if you don't want to tear it apart, go through it and glue stuff down. Okay, let's take a look at the other one. And I should have these in my shop. I'm going to try to have them in there by Tuesday. This book is one of, it's got to be one of my favorite fabrics to work with. This geometric fabric that has the gold inlay in it. This is a, uh, a boho bead, handmade boho bead that decorates the spine of this. Turn it around and let's open it up. Just be careful because it has, a, you know, this, this looks like a stamp and so it has the serrated edges on it. We've got a butterfly bag right here, handmade butterfly bag. The washi tape says change is beautiful and that goes really well with, with the butterfly motif that we have going on here. We've got some funny little robot stamps, uh, robot stickers and some other stickers right here. Some ABCs and more stickers for you to play with. This is the first signature. We've got a sewn book. This is one of the micro books and it has the days of the week. This is, um, let me pull this out here. This is just a little element that's cut from a greeting card. I thought that it was so pretty. We have butterflies and of course hairy paper clips. This is one where I have, uh, I just, I just punch this and, and <laughs> And put some some funny little uh, yarn through there. I thought that was kind of fun. This one says thanks. This is more of the painted cereal box board. This is some um, advertising from around here in Richmond. This is a big craft beer uh, center now, and we just have breweries everywhere. So this is a little craft beer uh, advertisement. Some text pages. Something from Kroger that I thought was really pretty. More of the cereal box board. A little cutout featuring purple butterflies. We've got little, little elements right here. Some more of the photographs from that old book that I was telling you about. And I also stuck in some fabric that you, um, the, the same fabric that appears on the front. This says, Love is rare, so grab it. This little pocket has vintage postcards in it, and I thought that the, the ladies on here were super interesting looking. It does have some Project Life cards in here. And a little bit of, um, I love this, um, I don't know what this is. It's, it's just got a, the sweetest texture to it. It's kind of, um, um, it's got it's a heavier-ish card stock. This is a tag. This is a brochure from the Virginia Museum of Fine Art. More little elements for you to play with. This is Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. These are the uh, notebook reinforcements that I like to color and uh, use as reinforcements on tags and things like that. And there's a mixed media number under here. It's got to be one of my favorite things in the whole world. <laughs> Kitty cat is so cute. <laughs> I've got a lot of black and white elements here for you to play with. This is a brochure from the Ant, uh, Leesburg Animal Park and more postcards, vintage postcards. And you know, it's got to gotta have a little Halloween in here, right? Uh, this is the sweetest card. My, my friend sent this to me and, and I, I just wanted to share it. This is a postcard of Elton John. And we have, can flip through here and just see that we have a lot of papers. We have stickers to play with, more papers, um, stickers. These are vintage stickers that would go on an, a calendar, like not your phone calendar, a calendar calendar, a real calendar. The, this is a photograph of some puppies that I love. A small little envelope of things for you. This is one of my handmade envelopes. 
and a little pocket filled with this is a, a piece of an old photograph and I thought that the, the you know it just it looks interesting it almost looks like the beach and the ocean but it is uh, just a small piece of a, of a photograph this is some handmade paper here these are project life cards and this is um, a brochure from one of the distilleries here. I'm going to flip this over. More things for you to play with. It says memories are sweet, so cherish them. We've got more stickers and more cards here and paper in the back. I've got a, one of my bird paper clips and a small, um, one of the small handmade stocking bags that I've been doing with the with the tracing paper which has really worked out so great. I've got a small card back here. Some maps around the Washington DC area. Vintage text pages. Some more stickers. These are um, space stickers and I thought that the holographic paper went really well with all that. Got a vintage postcard here for you. Uh, I'm sorry, I said that that was a vintage postcard. That's the top of a uh, of a box of Christmas cards, vintage Christmas cards, the one that ones that I use in here. And I've got tags and things for you to play with in this pocket, and more of the photos from that vintage book. Uh, more cards for you to play with. I love this image. She just looks so happy. Look at that necklace. Beautiful girl. Right. And this is from a 1993 Southern Living magazine. I love the way this couple is, um, you know, they're, they're looking at the map as if they're planning maybe their honeymoon, you know, planning someplace to go. And we've got some Chinese newspaper here. Vintage elements. Um, this is one of the poetry cards that I like to stick in. More tags and paper for you to play with in the back here. A photo, uh, photo pocket, handmade photo pocket. Some court elements and more of the, um, more of the reinforcement thingies. I've got those here. And of course, when you guys order these books, you know that I kind of fill you up with uh, <laughs> with things, uh, you know, papers and and all kinds of free items so you can fully develop your flow journals. Again, this is a uh, this is a piece of advertising uh, about the uh, the uh, craft beer movement here. Things for you to play with. There are also elements inside this this bag. Bugs Bunny stamp. So I think this one turned out really well. I, I love the, the colors in it. The colors are super vibrant. Uh, the last little bit of washi tape says be wonderful. And of course I've stuck you a, um, a selfie bag full of goodies in the back. So we'll close her up. I'm glad I discovered that whole, you know, turn it on, turn it to the side thing, because that's really the way these things work best. So there you go, guys. Two new flow journals going in the shop. I should have those listed, I am hoping, um, by Tuesday or so. Because these journals are really big, I need to go to the post office and check out um, postage on them and make sure that, that I, I have the correct postage on them. Thank you guys again and stay tuned and we will peruse through the giant big mama books that I just got finished. Thanks y'all. Talk to you soon. Bye.